Welcome back to another very, probably not much entertaining video. If you watch this, I love you. But um, yeah, so you know we're in Daytona Beach, my favorite spot. Um, I had to buy new shoes because my other ones were tearing in the back of my foot. I actually cut my foot open. So yeah, we're gonna head outside. I'll show you how cool this hotel is and then um, maybe we'll have some fun. I don't know why this is just so nice to look at, but at nighttime I like to walk down this, but my car's parked over there at the not bougie hotel, but this is the Hard Rock Hotel. It's so nice. It's like a, you know, music oriented hotel. So, uh, we're gonna go get the Shelby, we'll get some food, and then we're out of here. Look at this thing. Holy shit. Big ass Brembos. Look at this thing. It's got these bucket seats. I, th I showed you last video. It it's just wild. It's such a nice ride. So, don't mind those. Let's get this over here. Boom. Boom. Yes. I'm sadly not in Florida anymore. So different here. It's like pouring out. I actually just got back last night. Got the Miata here. Uh, I'm at Hunter's shop and he left the doors open. I don't know if it was for me or it was an accident, but I'm in here. Now, you guys know Hunter, he likes to weld things and he's doing some crazy stuff. Look at all this. He's doing all kinds of stuff, but I don't know if you guys just saw that. Take a look at what he did to my stuff. He glass bead cleaned all of it. Now, vapor honing is better, but look at this. I just wanted to do something with the resources I have and look at this shit. It's literally like brand new. It's crazy. <laughs> this was so bad. It's crazy. This is going to look so good on the car. Um, it's not OEM OEM obviously. It's got a little bit of pitting now, and it's still a little discolored in some spots, but wow, does this look good. I want to try this pulley real quick. I got the thermostat housing in here, as you see. I don't know if you can see. It's in there somewhere. There you go. Thermostat housing. On the bottom is the glass bead stuff, and then he has a soda blaster, which is like sodium. It's like, it's like baking soda, so pretty cool. But yeah, he's got some pretty cool projects around here. So I'll wait till he gets back. Um, we'll keep recording. But in the meantime, I'm gonna mess with the sand blaster again. I don't know, kind of see what I can do with it, but. People are probably wondering, why are we sitting down? So, it's because we want... No, I don't want it. So, why are we actually sitting down? I don't know. You're supposed to be the man who knows what to say. Go ahead. I You're don't... overthinking it just because it's recording. Just talk. <coughs> so. <laughs> Alright, tune in next episode to know actually what he was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Coming out of her layer, Libby. What's that? What's under it? Tools! How does a car that has no engine or anything that holds fluid leak oil? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Alright, um, we're gonna get all the parts out of here and then um, probably blame it on Libby. Alright, so I have my new, it's literally basically brand new. It has like less than 1,000 miles on it. I'd say 2,000 miles. So it's all prepped, ready to go. Um, the head is over here. I got the brand new head. Sorry for shaking. Brand new head is over here. Um, I'm gonna slap the head gasket on and then put it on and we should be good. Okay, so.
All right, guys, we are back a day or two later. A lot of stuff's been going on back in Florida. So yesterday I came back quick. I'll call it an early night, but look at all these parts I got from Hunter. Look how good he did. He glass bead cleaned all this. He has a sandblast machine. You could change out what you use, even like the throttle body. We didn't go too crazy because we want to mess everything up, but um, because that stuff's sensitive. But I got the motor here. So where I left off before I left was, let's see, freeze plugs. I got new ones. Uh, looks like a couple of them are stuck in here, three of them. That's pretty much it. So we're going to get those out, and then I will give you guys some time lapses. Let's get the uh, oil pan on and all that good stuff, and we should be rocking after that. New rear main seal is on. All right, so you guys saw me lay down all the RTV for the oil pan. The oil pan is torqued and good. I just got the intake on all torqued up. All the bolts are good. Um, I'm putting new seals in the injectors. I'm actually using... Uh, NB, OEM NB Denso injectors, because they look really good. Um, and I'm almost positive these work, you just plug right in and work. So yeah, I got like a seal kit. Um, comes with all new stuff in the little boot. GB, manu GB remanufacturing, pretty cool. So, I'm gonna show you guys a couple more time lapses, get this all on, and uh, yeah, we should have this thing all wrapped up and ready to go. All right, so, I suck at taking videos, but Here's some content. Uh, car's completely apart. This is the original motor out of the car, most of the parts. I think the bottom end is out of a different car. I put all that together all fancy. So this is what we got, the gist of it so far. I got it on the ground just because it's easier. Um, I had to get this flex plate on. I'll do the clutch and stuff when it's in the car. So if you guys don't know, this car was an auto. It has 80,000 original miles. Um, I like to consider that I'm saving this. The car is definitely not in the best condition. There is some serious rocker rust. The entirety of the rocker needs to be replaced. It's rotted right there, but under the car is solid. Um, I did two new subframes, all the suspensions, mint. So other than that, she should be good. It has a beautiful C package. Like I said, it'll turn out good. It was an auto, so we got to swap it. I got a clutch pedal and the drive shaft and DF axles, all that stuff. So we're going to get to wrench in here. Um, I, at least before I go home, want to get the engine dropped in and uh, we will close out the video there and again broken record here but sorry if you wanted to see more i'm working on it i have a lot going on right now and it's probably for the best but let's get this engine in i'll just do my time lapse Yeah, so the motor's in, like I said, things are getting spicy around here. I gotta put these on while I talk because I feel like it might compensate for something. But um, moral of the story is, uh, you get the point. Uh, there are some huge changes coming up that I'm planning for. Uh, I'm gonna try to document the whole entire thing, but I don't know if I'm gonna be in the shop much longer. I don't know where I'm gonna end up. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not also gonna say things that aren't true, but a lot is happening, so the next few months are going to be some, I think, entertaining videos, not even just because of the content that's going on. It just might not even be working on cars. It might kind of be moving around. I'm not sure yet, but thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you who watch. I don't know how many people it is. I don't even care anymore, but you're a real one if you're watching these videos. I really figured out certain things that just aren't working for me, and one of them is where I call home here. Um, definitely something I've wanted to change for a while, whether it's just the shop or where I actually live. And I think it'll be really good for my mental state and also just, I can get a lot more done. Thank you so much for watching this and um, I'll be back with you guys really soon. Next video, this will be running. So please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you wanna see more and I love you.